the symbolism of the tulip. The tulip is a member of the lily family, Lilia sea. There are about 75 species, and these are divided among four subgenera. The name tulip is thought to be derived from a Persian word meaning turban. In their natural state, they are adapted to steppes and mountainous areas with temperate climates. Flowering in the spring, they become dormant in the summer once the flowers and leaves die back. Emerging above ground as a shoot from the underground bulb in early spring, the upturned bowl-shaped flower its appearance in spring, its straight stalk and its emergence from a hidden bulb gives the tulip its symbolic meaning. As the bowl has the same significance as the bowl described in our video of rivers, streams and the Holy Grail. Its appearance in spring marks the end of the spiritual path and thus the final stages of enlightenment. And the straight stalk, the spine and bulb hint at the Kundalini experience where energy stored is used to provoke the experience. The Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam as then the tulip for her morning suck of heavenly vintage from the soil looks up. Do you devoutly do the like till heaven to earth in virtue like an empty cup? Some history and the Sufi connection. Tulips were originally wildflowers from Central Asia. Some sources say they originate from the Tian Shan mountains, yet others name the mountains in Kazakhstan. But they were first cultivated by the Turks as early as 1055 AD. We see tulips for the first time in the artworks of the Seljuks. In the 12th century, tulips were included in motifs, especially in the city of Konya, which was the capital of the Anatolian Seljuks. Rumi, the great Anatolian Sufi, mentioned the tulip in his poem entitled So Recklessly Exposed. December and January gone. Tulips coming up. It's time to watch how trees stagger in the wind and roses never rest. When Constantinople was redesigned as Istanbul following the Ottoman conquest, Sultan Mehmet II ordered tulips to be planted in the new parks and gardens. By the 15th century, he had so many flowers in his 12 gardens that he required a staff of 920 gardeners. Sultan Suleiman took the love of tulips to another level. He professionalised the planting and use of tulips in Istanbul, and it became more popular 
than the rose. Solomon was also a poet and mentioned Tulip several times in his poems. His poet name was Muhibi. Muhibi. Do not let the occasion pass. Leave not your hand off tulip red wine. O heart, let intoxication flow. A Frankish taster has already poured the wine. At which point all should become clear, as wine is spiritual intoxication, ecstasy, and blood is spirit input. As such, a tulip is symbolically identical to the Holy Grail, a symbolic cup into which the pourings of the spirit realm can be captured. The symbolism is greatly reinforced by the fact the word Allah, God in Arabic script, resembles the shape of a tulip. And the Arabic letters that form the word tulip, lalai, in Arabic, are the same as those that form the name of Allah, making it a very special flower with an exalted status in Islamic art and culture. The Tulip, the Dutch and Tulip Mania Tulips were imported into Holland in the 16th century by Oche Chilene de Boesbeck, an ambassador of Emperor Ferdinand I to Suleiman the Magnificent. De Boesbeck was astonished to find highly sophisticated hybrids growing in the royal court in Istanbul. So, he shipped some bulbs to Carolus Clusius in Prague, who eventually took over the botanical gardens in Leiden, ensuring the widespread distribution of tulips in Europe. The Dutch found out that tulips could be grown either from seeds or buds that grew on the mother bulb. A bulb that grows from seed takes 7 to 12 years before flowering, but a bulb is able to flower the very next year. So the bulb was and is used. All the outlandish stories of economic ruin, of an innocent sailor thrown in prison for eating a tulip bulb, of chimney sleeps wading into the market in hopes of striking it rich, are actually not true. Of particular interest to Clusius and other tulip traders were broken bulbs, tulips whose petals showed a striped, multicoloured pattern, rather than a single, solid colour. As the effect was unpredictable, but the growing demand for these rare broken bulb tulips was high, they were expensive. Economist Peter Garber The high market price for tulips, to which the current version of tulip mania refers, were prices for particularly beautiful broken bulbs. The pattern was later discovered to be the result of a mosaic virus that actually makes the bulbs sickly and less likely to reproduce. But this just added to their rarity value. Peter Garber Since breaking was unpredictable, some have characterised tulip mania among growers as a gamble with growers vying to produce better and more bizarre variegations and feathering. So where did all the tulip mania stories come from? Propaganda pamphlets published by Dutch Calvinists. 
the Calvinists worried that a tulip-propelled consumer boom would lead to societal decay and that the great wealth it brought, some, was ungodly. So they set about counteracting this sudden burst of materialism with some counter-propaganda. And Goldgar, Professor of Early Modern History at King's College London, discovered the historical reality when she dug into the archives. Anne Goldgar, Tulip Mania, Money, Honour and Knowledge in the Dutch Golden Age. Some of the stuff hasn't lasted, like the idea that God punishes people who are overreaching by causing them to have the play. That's one of the things people said in the 1630s. But the idea that you get punished if you overreach, you still hear that. It's all pride goes before the fall. Painting tulips. In paintings, poems, architecture and novels. Tulips were frequently depicted in Dutch Golden Age paintings and the symbolism appears to have been understood by the artists. There is still a group of specimens today known as the Rembrandts, so named because Rembrandt painted some of the most admired breaks of his time. Tulips are a holy symbol in Islam and they are used as decorative motifs on tiles, mosques, fabrics, crockery, etc. Few in the West seem to realise its significance in the East, despite the Western expression, my cup runneth over, which is symbolically the same. Tulips are, in a sense, a symbol of paradise on earth and have a divine status. It is why they were the subject of numerous poems by Persian poets from the 13th century onward. In the poem Gulistan by Musharif Uud Din Saadi, he describes a visionary garden paradise with the murmur of a cool stream, birdsong, ripe fruit in plenty, bright multicoloured tulips and fragrant roses. But the artistic in the West, artists and writers, are not without their own understanding of its significance. The Black Tulip, 1850, and Historical Romance by Alexandra Duma takes place in Harlem, where a reward is offered to the first grower who can produce a truly black tulip. And the tulip occurs on a number of the major arcana cards of occultist Oswald Worth's deck of tarot cards. Specifically, the magician, emperor, temperance, and the fool. Iran has a red tulip on its flag redesigned in 1980, the sword in the centre with four crescent-shaped petals around it. Saadi, the Gulistan of Saadi, from the manners of King's Solitude. How can a man fabricate a good sword of bad iron? O sage, who is nobody becomes not somebody by education. The rain, in the beneficence of whose nature there is no flaw, will cause tulips to grow in a garden and weeds in bad soil. Saline earth will not produce hyacinths. Throw not away your seeds or work thereon. To do good to wicked persons is like doing evil to good men. <laughs>